Hello everyone and we are back after a two week recess for the new league GT300 league at vrroom.org Only the finest in this room um, and uh, and only the finest on the website um, uh, in any of our rooms to be fair So this is uh, going to be a fantastic league uh, this season We're uh, running alongside the GT Academy of course We have our own VR Academy as well where the top uh, three drivers are um, uh, are going to get a little bit of an incentive uh, if they run a VR uh, room account, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Uh, my name is Dave Higgins. I'm going to take you through the main race highlights. It's looking very exciting. We've got um, on pole position here, we've got uh, Scalebreaker96, followed by Jordan, uh, lovingly known as Mr. 22 from Essex, I believe. So uh, Jordan, 22 from Essex in second place. Uh, Ginobi, big shout out for Ginobi in third Race 42, who um, we've done some pre-season testing with, actually, uh, and he's on form, very, very on form. So I'm looking for some good stuff and a good action from VR Race. We've got VR Stuntman, again, pulling a really good one out of the bag there. Uh, Recess in sixth, Lockie seventh, uh, DM in uh, in eighth, uh, the uh, DM the current uh, Cappuccino champion. Of course, the Cappuccinos have been, uh, have been binned, but we'll bring them back uh, later on. Uh, they're scheduled to to reemerge at some stage at VR Room, uh, but it's the three it's the GT 300s for now on. Um, Set wave in six, Badger seventy nine in tenth, uh, new guy uh, N ten in eleventh, and Rick GT five following up the back. A nice welcome back for Rick GT five. Not raced with him for a while, so that should be uh, good to see what Rick GT five can do. Um, I'm unsure about teams for this one. I have to uh, apologise for that. We still do have Team Rosso racing, but. <laughs> Not doing a very good job at the back with DM and Badger in 8th and 10th. Um, so uh, we'll have a look and develop teams as we go further on. So we're at Laguna Seca for round one of the GT500 tro Trophy League. So here we go. I'm going to do as best I can with it, say it as I see it. Should be a fantastically glorious start. Let's just watch and listen, see if anyone bogs down. And no, very good start from Scalebreaker. Uh, Jordan in holding position in second. We've got somebody diving out in the back. I think that's VR Race going for one. On Stuntman, um, looking fantastic as we go down the first corner. Listen to those engines. Sounding good and fast. So let's go on the back of Scales car just for the first uh, bit. Mr. Breaker has pulled out a big lead already as they go under the Bridgestone Bridge. Be worth clipping back to uh, Jordan's car. So we're on the back of Jordan's car now, we've got the two um, yellow um, uh, Aminia cars uh, behind of uh, Ginobi and Race 42, who's under a lot of pressure from Stuntman there in the background as we come up to the uh, blind uh, entrance on the run up to the corkscrew for the first time. So up the hill we go, we're going to get a fantastic shot of all these GT300 cars going down the corkscrew in a moment. It's a 12 lap race here at Laguna Seca of course, which is in the heart of uh, California, USA. So down the corkscrew, just see the uh, back view of that. Uh, Jordan putting scale under a hell of a lot of pressure here. And uh, Ginobi has pulled out from race 42, uh, to be honest, there. If we look on the outside view, there's uh, a bit of dust. I um, wonder if we'll see any yellow flags in this race. Um, that'll be interesting and bunch people up. So we're on board with race 42, heading up the rest of the field at the moment, which is Stuntman and uh, Lockie. Uh, there's Stuntman behind, and Lockie is just behind him as well. Thought he was going to have a bit of a dive down the inside then, but he thought better off of it. Now the people um, I'm not 100% um, uh, familiar with, to be honest with you, is we'll just clip on to uh, Scale and Jordan at the front two are going hammer and tongs for it already. Jordan putting Scale under a hell of a lot of pressure here. Uh, we may see Jordan plan one down the, uh, the inside or the outside, uh, coming up to... Um, the uh, slightly uphill section of Laguna Seca. Um, people to watch for, uh, Mr. Breaker of course and Jordan, uh, new to the commentary room, I've not commentated on those before so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Both of them are lightning quick and also doing a very blistering pace at the Nissan GT Academy as well. Uh, race 42 and Stuntman, uh, good solid uh, races both of those two. Um, they've been in this room before so I'm familiar with those. Uh, Lockie and Rhesus, I have been in rooms before with those, um, uh, they're good solid drivers um, and I believe Rhesus won the uh, Cappuccino Induction League last season, I may be wrong about that one. Uh, Setwave, uh, not really raced against Setwave before so it'll be interesting to see what he's made of, I believe he's quite fast though. 
Uh, NG10 new to the website, so thanks for joining us, buddy. Well, uh, welcome on board here at VRroom.org. Uh, uh, Rick GT5 Badger and Ginobi, they're the old wily old foxes from the Cappuccino Trophy League last season. Oh, and look at this, look at the pressure that Jordan's putting on Scalebreaker. They're alongside each other as they go to the bottom hairpin. Who will be leading when they get round this corner? Jordan's trying to take him round the outside, Scalebreaker's on the inside. And Jordan, crucially, is held position. Jordan is going to go through into the lead. There's no way the scale breaker will make this stick. Not on that side. No. Oh, wow. So Jordan, fantastically brilliant overtake there. But Scale's trying to go back at him straight away. This is nip and tuck. It's bumper to bumper stuff. All on lap three of 12. Superb racing, boys, up the front. It's so unbelievably close. Breaker trying to get one down the inside. And scale breaker has outbraked Jordan. So... No sooner did Jordan get the lead back than the scales taking it back, but Jordan going for the cutback again. Oh my god, it's side by side as they go to the uphill section now at the Laguna Seca circuit. And they have made it stick going round side by side. That's really not a place you don't want to go round side by side, and they're still side by side going up the hill. This is absolutely unbelievable stuff. Who will be last on the brakes into the corkscrew section? We've got uh, Jordan on the inside, I believe. And Jordan's backed out of that, so scale has kept the lead. Absolutely superb racing. Jordan's still putting under lots of pressure though, to be honest with you. Um, let's just go back and see what Stuntman's doing. He's by himself at the moment. Uh, raced and Lockie having a bit of a ding-dong here. And that's a VR race with uh, Lockie just behind in the, in the good Toyota MR2. All these cars sound absolutely superb. They are uh, well impressive engines. And it's uh, so nice to see is in a different class of car as well. Um, you know, the cappuccinos, as good as they are, they're not quite as fast or potentially as exciting as this. Some say that this racing won't be as close, but uh, <laughs> looking at this, I'm not so sure, to be honest with you. Um, let's just see how uh, DM's getting on in the background uh, in the first of the uh, Rosso racing cars. He's under a lot of pressure here from uh, N10. Keen to make a good impression um, at VR Room. Clearly got a lot of skill, this boy. Uh, in the slightly faster version, I think, of, uh, of that car. This, this, the, that's the 08 version that DM's driving, and that's the 03 version of the same car. Um, he's certainly putting uh, DM under a lot of pressure, keeping DM honest. We'll go into the back of DM's car. And uh, N10 getting pulled up the hill with a little bit of slipstream. We're going to click to the guys at the back because it looks like Badger's got a bit of a ding-dong. Oh, N10 nearly lost it then. Nearly lost the car as we approach the corkscrew section. So we're on board with DM and uh, N10. And we see a lovely shot of him going down the corkscrew there, so uh, we'll be sure to get back in that. We'll go back to the corkscrew for Badger in the Rosso racing car, the second of the Rosso racing cars. Um, and he's got behind him Rick GT5 and Ginobi going for that hammer and tongs. <laughs> so it's just as tough, and they're side by side now. And it's just as tough at the back of the pack as it is at the front. Um, let's have a look at Setwave. Uh, must have had a big incident there, Setwave. He's a long, long way behind. Something must have happened, maybe, out of pit. Uh, so that's unfortunate for Setwave. Now Scale and Jordan at the front still going absolutely hammer and tongs for it. It's worth just staying on board with these two. Um, they have a very, very good reputation at VR Room here, uh, both Scalebreak and Jordan. Um, absolute uh, masters at driving extremely, extremely fast. Um, and I believe they are nip and tuck in the Academy as well this year. Uh, the Silverstone's time trial, of course, at the GT Academy. Now, Scale, what do I know about Scale? Well, I know Scale, is he, he likes the kind of point and press method. Uh, where he'll get the car just finely balanced as the apex corners um, and I also believe the same is, is fair for Jordan as well they're both extremely hard racers uh, and they're both used to winning leagues as well so uh, it's no surprise that we see them up front here in the GT300 uh, league it's a league that's not unfamiliar to them, they have raced them before but oh Jordan is all over the back of scale either of these could win the race now what they've got to be careful of course is that they don't take each other off and cause a massive accident now I'm not sure the race marshals, as we see them side by side again, I'm not sure the race marshals would um, yellow flag if Scale and Jordan do collide, provided nobody else has collided, and that of course would ruin the race and need to get, get, get into the pits and recover. Now both of them actually do do a really good recovery, I've raced against them before, and even when they get knocked out they can still pull their way through the field. I would say on average, generally, these two players tend to be about half a second a lap quicker than, than most people. Oh, and Jordan's had a nudge, Jordan's had a nudge off. 
Uh, but again, look, he's recovered it. So they're both racing in the Lexus cars, of course, to keep it dead uh, even for themselves. Now, Stuntman, what's this guy here? Stuntman. Uh, Stuntman joined, I believe, only last month to VR Room, or uh, he was in the Cappuccinos last month, should I say. And he's doing a very tidy job. Perhaps he fancies himself here, fancies these faster paced cars, the, the more sort of mid engine rear wheel drive uh, setup which he has got. And uh, that MR2 is certainly on fire. He's looking like he's going to take a good uh, solid podium here at uh, Laguna Seca. We're at the halfway point of the race now. Uh, so what I think I'll do is uh, let's go to the live timings just out of interest and let's see uh, who is where. So we've got um, the fastest lap at the moment is, and you can work it out guys at the same time I do, is 28.073 with Jordan. I thought, yeah, he looks pretty handy putting scale under a lot of pressure. Next is 28.220 uh, from scale and Mr. Stuntman is in the 28s again so he is on pace here. Uh, threatening to uh, to upset the two lead cars who were battling and of course the longer they battle for the um, the uh, easier it is for um, the easier it is for this guy here uh, stuntman to uh, catch up because when you battle of course you slow yourself down uh, because you tend not to take the racing lines you tend to break earlier go a little bit defensive etc etc so it does slow down we'll just see what's going off at the back now things have panned out a little bit more so uh, we've got Reese's pulling away nicely in fourth from Lockie uh, in the other MR2 car from NG10 who now has nailed DM so NG10 has nailed DM well played indeed to him and he's pulling away from DM uh, DM there in the background as you can see just coming round the corner uh, Ginobi and uh, is by himself and we've got Badger in the Rosser racing car who is under a little bit of pressure here from Rick GT5. Now Rick GT5 has come up through the field, so it might be worth just watching this for a little while, see if Rick GT5 and the Lexus behind can catch and pass Badger 79. Badger is quite a consistent wily old fox, but he's struggling for pace at the moment. Um, but you know what they say folks, they say that uh, uh, form is temporary and class is permanent. Well if I can say one thing about Badger, he is a classy guy, but he's, uh, he has peaks and troughs in form. Looking good as they come over towards the uh, corkscrew for the seventh time now out of twelve. Now, as uh, Jordan managed to catch up to scale, uh, the answer uh, is uh, yes, he's still on him. There he is in the background. Let's just listen to the engine while they brake. Deceptively quiet actually on these Lexuses. Um, I believe the Lexus is a mid-engine rear-wheel drive car, I may be wrong on that, so please correct me if I am wrong, I think it's a mid-engine rear-wheel drive, um, which is an ideal racing setup because the cars tend to be a little bit more balanced with mid-engine rear-wheel drive, but uh, certainly scale's not backing off here. Have they dropped Stuntman though? Where's Stuntman? No, he's still in the picture, he's still there, doing a very, very good job here at uh, Laguna Seca. Uh, well, we'll just clip forward uh, a couple of laps now. So we're on uh, lap uh, 10 of 12. So the race order still is Scale Breaker, Jordan. 1-2, looking very close and very racy. Then clipping back through the field, we've got uh, Stuntman, VR Stuntman. I like that tag, I like that tag a lot. And they are a proverbial mile away from this man here, which is Rhesus, doing a superb job. Very impressive drive from Rhesus. Um, and on the back of Reese's car there, we've got um, N10 and uh, Lockie and Genovi um, further down the field as well. So let's just go on with N10, and then we'll go on with Lockie's car, nobody behind Lockie. And we'll go on with Genovi now, and Genovi is uh, past DM. So DM's obviously made some kind of a, maybe an unforced error there that we didn't see. Uh, so the running order, sorry, I'll get back to that, is Scale 1, Jordan 2, Stuntman 3, Rhesus, and then N10, 6 is Lockie, 7th Ginobi, 8th is DM, who's been in 8th the whole race, Badger, 79, is behind his teammate now, and oh, that was a big moment there for uh, Ginobi, he only just held that, he got, he got his wheel on the grass a little bit, but he only just held it. Oh, what a fantastic sounding engine that is. Now he's got... Um, Ginobi has got DM behind him, but DM seemingly unable to catch, so it really has panned itself out. Uh, so let's go forward with the leaders again, let's see Scale and Jordan, see what they're up to, because uh, if I know them too, oh, 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 they're on it again. 
these two were really neck and neck. There was nothing splitting them in in times at all. In fact, if we just go to the live timings again, let's see if they've improved or if they've changed their positions there. Oh, we're down in the 27s now, and it's still uh, Jordan, still fastest, 27,288 versus 27,566. So Jordan is the faster car here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, faster car, unable to get past. Now, that's a testament to uh, Mr. Breaker, uh, his defensive driving. Oh, a little bit of rubbing there as they come down the corkscrew. No love lost between these two, but Scale is doing a superb job of defending from Jordan. Mr. 22 from Essex is putting scale under a hell of a lot of pressure. Now, I wonder if these two are teammates this year. I'll have to inquire about that. I hope they are, because they're in a really good-looking car, and uh, it looks fantastic to see them running up front as well. NG10, or N10, sorry, uh, do it sound like a postcode, that. N10 is doing a really good job here uh, of hanging on into third. It's going to be a fantastic start now. Now, coming down here, we're going to see them side by side. Uh, we've got Scale on the outside, uh, Jordan on the, uh, sorry, Scale on the inside, Jordan on the outside, and again, we know Jordan is strong on the outside, he's trying to take him, but he's, he's, he's been knocked back there, unfortunately, he's not been able to take him. We are on the last lap, we're going to have to stick with this, I'm afraid. Last lap between Scale and Jordan, who's going to take the first podium of this season in the GT300s at VRroom.org? Will it be Scale, will it be Jordan? I don't know, but it's damn close stuff, this. It could be either of them, to be honest. They're side by side yet again. This is what we've seen all race. These boys must be getting tired of doing this by now. One of them has to try to eke out a little bit of a lead, but I just can't see it happening, to be honest with you. They're just so, so fast, so quick. And again, hats off to uh, Stuntman in the background, doing a superb job in third. I think I must have said it was uh, N10 in the background. It's not, it's Stuntman in the background. VR Stuntman is going to finish on the podium here as we get side-by-side -side action yet again from the two Lexus cars off Scalebrick and Jordan. Jordan is going down the uh, inside of the corner, back onto the outside. Jordan behind, Scale just in front. It looks like Scale's going to take it unless we see a last ditch attempt from Jordan. Jordan going for the cutback on the inside. Jordan's got the run. It's two by two into the last corner up at Laguna Seca. Scale's going to have the slower, slower line. Jordan, if he holds back and races intelligently, can get the cutback here. Scale's gone slightly wide and it looks to me like Scale's going to take it unless Jordan just takes him over the line. Let's have a look. This is so, so close and it's going to be a Scale Breaker victory. No, Jordan just nicked in. Unbelievable. No, Scale Breaker. <laughs> Yes, Scale has won it, sorry, the, temporarily the time switched around then. So, uh, Stuntman coming a fantastic uh, third. We're on now for Rhesus, coming fourth. Well done, well played. And then uh, N10 and Lockie, oh, so close together. Lockie just needed another lap there, I think. Uh, Ginobi finishing in seventh. Uh, DM coming round uh, on his lonesome in uh, eighth. The ninth in the uh, Rosso, other Rosso racing car is Badger, uh, all by his lonesome. Rick GT5 coming round the final corner there. And then uh, behind that we've got Setwave going extremely slowly. And oh, race 42 is uh, by itself uh, revving his engine. Something's obviously gone wrong there, a bit of a crash. So well played. Uh, good opener that. We've